These Walmart employees, what they used to do in Walmart is they used to put on a blue vest and they would come up to you and say, excuse me, sir, is there anything that I can help you find? Okay, that's what they used to do. Now what they do is they dress in plain clothes and they sidle up next to you and they just stand next to you the entire time. This, this just happened to me in Walmart, okay? The previous video that I talked about, I said, if this is happening to you, it's probably not and you should probably just ignore it and they're not following you. They're just minding their own business, doing their own thing. And unless you're in Walmart or one of these box chain stores that is now paying employees more money when they could just lower prices and people would probably steal less instead of putting up a bunch of shields around all of the products, go ahead and just lower the prices a little bit. But anyway, I was in there. This is a channel update also, but I'm going to tell you the story of what just happened. I was in there to get a little uh, adapter for the coax cable for this radio. I'm going to start going live and doing uh, scanner stuff, listening to like police scanners and stuff like that, and showing you how to use this radio right here and how to program it and stuff like that. This is a ham radio. It's a two-way radio, but it also picks up all the frequencies. It's amazing. You can bounce frequencies off the moon and back down. It's not just a walkie-talkie. It's not just a 10 mile range or anything like that. It's a ham radio. I'm going to show you all about it. But anyway, I was in there to get an adapter for the little thing because I realized that my RV has a big TV antenna on the top of it. So I just unscrewed it and jacked it up as a giant antenna. And then I can hook this. I'm going to do it here in just a second. Okay. I can hook this to this and it boosts the frequency like massively. And you can pick up just all sorts of stuff. So I was in there to get an adapter. Let me see if I can do it. I was in there to get like wild because the, the the rv basically acts like a faraday cage so i can't get a signal in there in in the rv unless i stick the antenna out the window right uh this big long wacky antenna okay so anyway this is a channel update i'm gonna start going live with uh videos about that but what just happened in walmart was the exact thing that you're talking about okay where you don't want to confront these people like i talked about before and what happened is i went down into a little area where they had the coax connectors okay and obviously they don't have the adapter that I need because it's Walmart and they don't have anything you actually need. You have to order everything online anyway. So you might as well just get it online. And so anyway, I'm just, I'm squatted down looking at the little connectors for the, uh, for the, for the coax cable. And they don't, you know, and then I, I noticed somebody, I'm pretty psychic at this point. I, I eat enough monoatomic gold at this point that I can pick up on people's energies real, real easily to know what they want in their intentions and stuff like that. And so I, this guy comes over and he si sidles me. Okay. Does anybody think that that's a good idea that they're doing that and so anyway the first guy comes up and he does that and i'm squatted down looking at this stuff just you know, casually looking at very inexpensive items just a little adapter right and um i notice and i'm this guy's pulling on my energy okay so i stand up and i'm pretty aggressive right now and i'm in a kind of a bad mood for someone who knows why that's watching this and so anyway i stand up and i walk right towards him i'm like jacked right now okay and i walk right towards him and then i turn like military style i'm not in the military or anything like that if I turn and about face and I walk around to the other aisle and I stand there until the guy leaves and then immediately as soon as he leaves I, I want him to know that I'm doing this on purpose I walk back and squat right back down right where I was at right and at this point the guy is like my cover's blown I can't go back over there he knows I'm following him you know and so I'm watching this guy because he doesn't know that I'm an actual I'm not an actual spy okay I'm not an actual spy um, but anyway I'm watching this guy as he walks back you know he he sidles his way all around and I'm I'm keeping an eye on him. He goes into the back room in Walmart, right? And then the other guy comes around and I'm wearing, by the way, I'm wearing uh, these <laughs> camera spy glasses also that have two cameras in them. And I'm supposed to be videotaping all of this going down, but instead I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit out of my normal mind process because I'm in kind of a, kind of a, uh, a mood. And so anyway, this other guy comes up right after that, you know, a much taller guy and bigger guy than the first guy. And he comes up and uh, sidles me again while I'm right in the same area of this real cheap stuff. And I stand up and I walk up to him and I take these glasses off instead of filming him like I should have but I'm kind of like in a bad mood like I've said multiple times now I take the glasses off like this and I start pointing at him I go are you working for Walmart instead of being like who's working for 
wondering, who hired you? Because I know their policy, you know? I know that they're gonna uh, send somebody over to sidle me. It happens every single time I go into Walmart. It happens every time I go into any major box store. Everybody just should buy stuff online. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put a link to this radio. I didn't mean, even mean to make this an advertisement for the radio. I'm gonna put a link to this radio. Everybody should have one of these in your house. It's an emergency radio, like the emergencies we're seeing happen right now with those people that are trapped, that can't communicate. You need one of these in your house, okay? It's amazing. I'm gonna be doing lives for that, so make sure that y'all follow along. Uh, but anyway, the guy, okay, I'm pointing at him with the glasses, right? Like aggressively pointing at him. And I, I'm going, do you work for, do you work for, well, I, I, in the other video that I talked about, I was like, you don't want to confront these people, okay? Just go ahead and just be nice about all of it. And so I go, yeah, I know your policy. <laughs> and I go, and y'all are disrupting my, I go, y'all are disrupting my shopping experience. <laughs> Because they are. They were. They're sidling me. You you can't enjoy shopping in a box store anymore because I just want to sit down and look at this stuff for just half a second. And you have cameras everywhere. You can't watch me on the cameras. You have to watch me in person. Okay? And the stuff is not expensive. How much of that stuff right there takes up for one of those people's salaries per year? You know, think about that. You know, they could just put a, one of them in a vest and say, I'll help you find anything that you need to help. Oh, you, we don't have it in the store? I'll order it for you online and we'll have it shipped to your house. Why not have that kind of customer service Walmart? You could have little iPads on the little stands and you have your little customer service instead of them sidling up in plain clothes, be like, oh yeah, we'll order it. Where's what's your, what's your address? Oh, you want to pay for it right here? Okay, we can do that. No, you're not going to do that because you don't have good customer service Walmart, okay? Maybe you should, I'm not going to work for you either, okay? You can take this video and you can pay me. You pay me money right now. Anyway, that's the story and I'm sticking to it. Y'all make sure to follow along. We're going to be going live with this. I'm going to be showing you how to program it and we're going to be scanning. Scanning you up, baby. That's right. Never stop and never go on. Never go to this. I don't know. Stop. That's it. Go ahead.